This is a very special year for us. We have been growing consistently for the last eight years as an organization, and it's been a lot. It was a very small project when we started out. We had under $100,000 in our budget. Now we manage about 2.5 million, and our programs have grown exponentially. When my team got here in 2016, we had English classes and a couple of after-school programs. Centro has existed for 19 years, and we've been in all sorts of places. We've been in basements, we've been at the top of the hill on Sutherland Avenue. We outgrew our space really quickly, and we've been very grateful to have partners like Pellissippi State Community College and different churches around the community that offered us spaces for our classes. But we knew we needed a new home when we realized that we were losing the community aspect of our space. Years ago, people would walk in and out, we'd have graduations, we'd have potlucks. And with the pandemic and post-pandemic, our organization grew very fast. And we weren't able to serve as that community center, as that home, as that living room, as I like to call it, um, for our community anymore. A home is so important to everyone. And as an immigrant, we lose our social capital, we lose our extended families oftentimes, we lose our, our neighbors from three generations, right? Um, I, I know for myself, like, I lived next to my grandma and my grandma's friends were, you know, my extra grandmas, and, and you lose all of that. When we think of what Centro Hispano provides and wants to continue to provide for our community, it's that second home, it's that place you walk into and you're like, these are my people. You know, there's always this question, I have this philosophical question of like the difference between being and doing, and we're always doing, 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 and there always has to be like a purpose. But one of the things that we do as Latinos really well is like tertulias and chilling and just getting to know each other without an agenda, um, having cafecitos where like people don't need to come to Centro to get something. Sometimes you just want to hang out with your friends and you want to be able to speak the language or make new friends, and this new space allows that for us. It's been very much a process, like a soul-searching process to find the organization that we could match with. And for the Latino community, it's not about us being outside of. It's not us being um, on the margins of. And so the partnership that we've been able to create with Central United Methodist Church is just giving us this opportunity to be in the heart of the community, in a historic building, in a space that was literally constructed to bring people together. Many people don't realize that we can easily have between classes and, and people walking through our doors for questions about 150 to 200 people in a day. The possibilities of loan of our new space and what we're able to create there has given our team so much inspiration and so much hope for what we want to accomplish with our community. And it's also really creating a lot of excitement around our community and the people we do work with because it, it has better parking, it's on a bus route, you don't have to go all the way up a giant hill pushing a baby uh, stroller if you have to get to our building. The accessibility and the quality of services are one of the things that we're looking forward to being able to provide for our community. Yo nunca he vivido en un lugar más diverso para mi propia vida personal como en Oxford. I've been able to create the life I want to live in Knoxville thanks to having Centro. My soul wouldn't feel as at home as it is with Centro. Thank you for keeping the doors of Nuestra Casa open. Aquí siempre serás bienvenido.